Hi, Kate. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm so glad I can speak with you today about Loki. I saw the first two episodes and it's such an intriguing series so far. I feel like it's one of the most um, mysterious of the Marvel projects, especially the series, because we, it can go any sort of way. So um, first off, I want to ask, in landing this gig, did you always want to do a Marvel project and it just happened to be Loki? Or were you like passionate about doing something on this character? So it's basically kind of a, a yes to both. So basically my first like introduction to Marvel was that I used to love the X-Men cartoon growing up. Um, I was obsessed with it. I remember like trying to turn one of my dolls into Storm and like melted her hair off and like, but I'd always play like X-Men with like my toys. And I think I loved it because they were outsiders and I connected with that. And I, I, I just was really drawn in by that story. So, but like everyone, right? Like I watched Kevin Feige build this amazing universe through you know, all the movies over the last decade. And, you know, I met Loki through Thor, um, sorry, Thor. And I, I also loved him in the comics. And I think for me, like, I've really enjoyed what they've done with his arc over the last 10 years, like so many people. And I enjoyed him obviously going from villain to anti-hero and just seeing that growth and room for change. And I just loved Tom's performance. I mean, Loki hasn't had a lot of screen time really when we add it all together. I mean, Oh, I said 112 minutes the other day, and I think it's 79 minutes, but it <laughs> amounted to a lot, but you can't help but watch him and get on board with him. And when I found out Marvel were making something about Loki, I was just like, I have to be part of this story, or I have to at least see what they're doing with the character and see, can I fit into, you know, the plans for this? So, yeah, so I, I basically stalked them, and <laughs> here I am. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so when when these Marvel series are first announced, we've always been told that they could be looked at like um, X number of our movies, you know, five hour movies, six hour movies, however many episodes are, um, as opposed to like regular television. I want to know as the director, did you have that similar lens on it when um, directing the series? Or did you also take, you know, this approach of more serialized television as well? I think to be honest, our show is like a really interesting mixture, right? Because we have things like cold opens and I was inspired by like the X-Files I love and like this, the design of the title being like where it was in the show and the excitement I wanted it always to bring whenever we went to that first Loki title. I wanted it to capture how I felt like, you know, after a cold open and show I love and being like, oh my God, here we go, which is very episodic and very much like TV. Um, and I do think the the episodes are great because they are like kind of mini stories of their own. But in terms of the approach, I think for me, it was always like a big six hour movie just because, you know, we didn't film this by episode. We filmed it like a giant film. And I and also just in terms of how Marvel ran it, like they weren't running it in that TV showrunner system. Like I was working with the writing team like I would on a movie and working with Marvel like I would on a film because, you know, Kevin Feige was like, we make movies. We're going to run this like a film. So it was definitely, I guess, I guess, in that, in my head, in that sense, like in terms of a production, it felt like I was working on a film and not a television show. Um, but yeah, but I would say in terms of story, I it's it's an interesting. It's definitely, I, I know, it's this weird hybrid is the best way I can describe it. I think there'll be things that you know people who love television will really enjoy. I love that we're airing once a week. Like I, you know, like everyone, like I there's so many shows like Lost and Game of Thrones. And I, I really enjoyed the discussion I'd have with friends week to week on like, oh, where could this story be going? And I think we've definitely built that into the structure of the episodes we're doing. But in terms of like a clean story in in the sense of like, I think there's a very, uh, how to explain it, like a very clear track that we go on with it, which I, I, yeah, which I think does kind of lend itself to a film in some ways. So yeah, I'd say it's a hybrid. <laughs> it's the best word describe it well thank yeah. you so much for chatting with me i really enjoyed it i can't wait to see the rest of the episodes i'm so excited i need more um but i'll have to wait <laughs> but um, i can't wait for everyone else to experience the show and thank you for talking with me all right thank you so much cheers hi how are you doing today how's it going good good i'm so excited to chat with you about this series i thoroughly enjoyed the first two episodes and i'm so excited to see where it goes from here so um, I wanted to start off with, because this Loki 
isn't local we've known for like the past few movies. How is that in the writer's room, like navigating, taking like this reverse course in time, but it's also the current time too, but like, you know, <laughs> diving back with some of his older, um, these older story arcs and this version of the character that's like different now. Yeah, I, th I think it was important to, um, to address uh, all of the growth that the character did on screen in, in Thor, the Dark World, Ragnarok, Infinity War, you know, really, really having that, that big arc that Loki had before, before meeting his demise. So we wanted to address that. Uh, and it was important to us to sort of bring our Loki of this show up to speed in a way, which fortunately the TVA gives you a good way to, to do that. Um, at the same time, this is a different guy. He hasn't been through all those experiences and we, we wanted to send him on a new journey here. The fans have seen uh, those last 10, 10 years of movies. This is something new and it was important for us to, to tell that new story. So uh, it was tricky, but, but when you've got the TVA and you're doing, dealing with time travel, uh, you, you, you've got some nice tricks up your sleeve to be able to cheat that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And how do you think that Loki will um, navigate the MCU going forward? Like, you know, all of these Marvel series are really setting the setting the stage for what's to come, especially with Loki, with, you know, dealing with time and everything. So how do you think this is going to introduce this new wave of the MCU? Uh, successfully, very successfully, uh, thrillingly. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I, I, th I think what better character to uh to deal with those sorts of things than a character is as chaotic as as loki but but he's got to make it through his own tv show first yeah yeah and you know when we, when we first knew these marvel series were coming they were described to be you know like x amount of hour movies like you know five hours six hours however many episodes in the season of these shows um in writing the show, did you also keep that similar perspective or did you also make sure to weave in a lot of, you know, traditional serialized um, television storytelling? Yeah, I mean, I, certainly it has the scope and feel of a big blockbuster movie, just just it's cinematic. That's a testament to to Kate, our director and our, and our crew and, and Autumn and our DP, the way she shot it and everything. <laughs> Um, but in terms of the construction of it, I, I think it's different than it's, it's not just a TV show, but it's also not just a six hour movie, you know, because it, it's not just one story with act breaks thrown in every six hours. It was really important to me into our writer's room that every episode stood on its own and felt like its own individual great chapter great story um and so hopefully it just feels like something totally new it's the mcu doing television uh it shouldn't be like something you've seen or experienced before yeah yeah absolutely absolutely well thank you so much for chatting with me and i cannot wait to see the rest of the series thank, thank you, you so much have a good day you too